Okay, for today class, we're going to have a look at Google Calendar, Hangouts, and also Google Meet. So these are three things. Uh, so hopefully by the end of this uh, session, okay, by the end of this session, that you will be able to uh, schedule a meeting. You'll be able to add participant in the meeting. You will be able to keep track who is attending, who is not attending your meeting. And then I will also show you how can you set a reminders and notification for the events that you create in the calendar and also how to manage multiple calendars. Okay, of course, the very first thing before we start the class, ensure that you already log in into your Gmail account. Okay, if you already log in into your Gmail account, if you just go to Google Apps uh, right here, if you open up any new page, you will always see these uh, Google Apps on the top, right? Click on it and then you choose on calendar. So you will open up calendar or you can just type in your uh, omnibox calendar.google.com. Okay, so this is your uh, calendar. So this is uh, actually when you open up calendar, you will see this. Okay, now I'm going to explain to you the, each, uh, each button and uh, each one of um, inside calendar. So the first one that you see here, Okay, the first one here, it will be create. So this uh, button is um, is work for you. Uh, if you want to create an event, so this is the button that you're looking for. Okay, if you want to create an event, this is the button that you're looking for. So just click on create, then you will be able to key in the details for the event that you want to create. So this one is the mini calendar. Okay, mini calendar. Um, that help you to navigate throughout your calendar easier and a lot faster. Uh, in compared to your bigger calendar, maybe you already know the dates um, for the event that you are looking for. So you just click on the dates here on the mini calendar and the agenda will be uh, will be here. Here in this section, you have my calendar. So the one that calendar you uh, created or share with you. Okay, here you have my calendar. The one that you created or the one share uh, shared with you here other calendar is the calendar created by others okay subscribe uh, you subscribe to the calendar that created by others so it can be your colleague calendar your friend calendar your family calendar so it will be in the other calendar okay the one that you subscribe will be right here in the other calendar my calendar is the one created by you so here, here, if you see there's a, like a search, uh, magnificent. Uh, so here, you just uh, click on this if you want to look for an event. For example, you can't really remember the date for the event, but you remember what is the event about. So you can use these features to find the date, um, the date for the event because maybe you forgot, oh, when will be the wedding? So that person already sent you a calendar invite. What you can do is you just search here wedding. So all um, all re uh, related search that have wedding. So it will come out on the list. Here you will see uh, like a box option for you how you want to view your calendar. You can view your calendar by day, by week, by month, by year, schedule or for seven days. So here, example here is by day. So for up, um, 9 April, so this is my calendar will look like, okay? So that's um, actually the looks of your calendar. What is it about? So um, the other thing, like I said, you can subscribe to other calendar, okay? You can subscribe to other calendar so that you will be able to see that person calendar so you know before you want to invite uh, maybe if you want to invite person a so you compare person a calendar with you when will that person be free so you can invite that person to an event but to do that to be able to view that person calendar um, you need to ensure that your calendar is uh, public if it's not public uh, so that another person cannot see, uh, cannot be able to see your calendar. So that person uh, will not know are you free or not during that particular date. So that's why um, we 
uh, we um, not must I will say, but if that calendar is uh, not, uh, for example, that if people can invite you, you allow people to invite you, so you will do your calendar public, so that person can compare uh, when will you be free, so that person can block the calendar. So to make your calendar public, go to settings. Um, setting years, click on setting, and then if you uh, if you setting for calendar, calendar setting, you scroll down a bit. There's an access permission. Okay, uh, you scroll down a bit. There will be access permission, and then you just tick on make your calendar public, so that people can see your calendar. Oops. So um, here, that's calendar. So now I'm going to let you know um, there's another two things that we are also going to touch today, which is Google Hangout and Google Meet. These two seem similar, but actually it's a different product. Okay, Google Meet and Google Hangout actually is a different product. It's not the same. So for Google Hangouts, it's a separate app. Uh, apps totally, uh, totally different applications so if you using your mobile in google play with that's a hangout if you're using again um, uh, mobile there will be meet hangouts meet so these two is totally different apps okay totally different things hangout and meet is totally a different application totally different application hangouts and meet and also similar with App Store, you have Hangout and Hangout Meet. It's totally diff uh, two different types of apps. Okay, after this, I'm going to uh, go in deeper. What is the difference between these two apps? But these two, Google Meet and also Hangout, is the one that you use uh, if you want to have a virtual classroom, virtual meeting. So this is the one that you use, either Hangout or Meet. You create the, you create the event from Google Calendar but to have that um, actual um, virtual meeting, you're going to use either uh, Hangouts or Meet, okay? So, um, the first one, how can we schedule a meeting and how can we add participant to join the class, to join your meeting? So, like I said, so this is will be your calendar. The very first thing you're going to do is click on the plus uh, create button. Okay, you're going to create an event. So here you already in uh, in your Google Calendar. Yes, this is your this is example. This is my Google Calendar looks like. We're going to create an event. So uh, click on create an event. Click here to create an event. So you just click on that. Okay, click on that create. Uh, I will explain to you the difference between Meet and Hangout uh, after this. Don't worry. Okay. So here, uh, after you click on Create, this box will pop up. Okay. This box for you to add details about the event will pop up. So here, if you, um, you just key in the title of the event. Here, at title, you just key in the title of the event. So if you have guests, you can start typing their email address right here. Okay, you just click on that, type their email address right there, and then you just can click save. Okay, save. So you can modify the date, you can modify the timing. So here, title, modify the date, modify the timing, and then you add the guest, then save. Then that's it, it will be sent to them. But if you have, if you require more option, if you have um, attachment, Okay, if you have attachment, you need more details. So you can also go to more option. Okay, more option. If you are going to attach more than this, more than this, because this one is just a simple box. Okay, if you need to attach more, um, more details, so you need to go to more option. Okay, if you go to more option, okay, maybe here it's not enough for you. Like, okay, this only a simple one, title, date, time, at guess, and then you, that's it. But if you go to more option, you will have more, such as a notification, okay? As you can see here, there's no notification. There's no notification, but if you go to more option, you have the notification option, 
available for you. Okay. So if you require more, uh, more, then just click on more option. So you will bring you here. So the same thing here, you're going to put the title. So set the time and that here. So you can uh, um, change the date, change the timing. And then if there's a location, you can enter the location and then at uh, at conferencing. Okay, at conferencing is where you will see be able to see the difference between Google Meet and Hangout. Okay, at conferencing, I will go in deeper later on, but at conferencing um, is to add the, I will say the, um, the meeting link. Okay, so if you click on at conferencing, it will be either Google Meet or Hangout. It will be uh, only either one. I will go deeper, but if you um, click on at conferencing, you have only one option. You right now, either you will see Google Meet or Hangout. I will tell you uh, later on why. But if you add conferencing, if you know, using your account right now, you will only see uh, either one. If you are seeing Google Hangout or you are seeing Google Meet. So here is um, other thing for such as notification. So you can also add notification to remind, uh, to remind the guests and also yourself uh, before the event. You can set this uh, notification. Here, you can choose the calendar. If you have more than one calendar, you can choose this uh, event goes to into whose calendar if you have more than one, okay? Here, you can have uh, you can have uh, additional documents that you want to share with the guests, okay? You can add description. You can also attach a file. Here, you just uh, add your guest list. So, key in their email address. So just uh, enter and then the, the guest list will be there. And then here, guest permission. Of course, you have the option um, to allow uh, the guests to modify the event, to invite others, and then see guest list. So this one is uh, guest permission is up to you. You are the one who set it up. But, but by default, it will be like this. Um, the guests can invite other. The guests can also see who else did you invite into the meeting. And also, the guests uh, can modify the event, maybe change the date. Yes. If you allow this, yes, the guests can change the date. And then click on save. Okay. Um, like I said just now, Google Meet and Google Hangout is actually the same thing. If you notice, if you are using Google Calendar right now, if you are trying to create ad conference, is going to pop up either one, either Google Hangout or you will see Google Meet. Google Meet, okay, Google Meet is only for a paid uh, customer. Google Meet is for paid customer, enterprise, okay, paid customer. That's uh, for Google Meet. So right now, um, for those, uh, for the paid customer, okay, you have Right now, they have an enterprise features, which is um, the class participant can be up to 250. Okay, right now, Google are giving uh, uh, enterprise features to the to the basic and business. Okay, there's three account, paid customer, there's three account. There will be basic business enterprise. Okay, so the enterprise, um, for hang uh, for hangout sorry for me they allow up to 250 participant business they allow up to 150 participant um, basic they allow up to 100 participant for google meet but right now google are giving out the free until up first of july so this uh, paid customer basic business enterprise right now they have uh, they can run their google meet up to 250 and they can record um, they are Google Meet, which previously only for enterprise, okay, enterprise only. So they can also record their meeting. So this one is, uh, these features again, I will say, it's only for the paid customer, okay, paid customer. Is it enterprise or education? It depends on their plan. Okay, this is uh, for normal Gmail. Okay, for normal Gmail, if you, the one created it uh, free, okay, you're using gmail.com or googlemail.com, okay? This one is um, gmail.com or googlemail.com. 
So, if you go to add conferencing, okay, if you go to add conferencing, your option will be hangouts. Okay, your option will be hangout. This one. So, how to know if you're, if you're wondering, am I, am, I, am I company using the basic version or am I using the free version? So, if you create an event, if you click on add conferencing, you will know from here. You will definitely know from here because the option will come out only one. It's either Hangout or Meet. Okay. So, but don't worry if you are if you are a free user, you still can create a virtual class. However, the maximum number of participants is only for 25, including you. Okay. Different from uh, Meet. Meet um, right now, um, we are um, just going for the free version. Uh, sorry, for the enterprise, it's 250. Okay, meet 250, but Hangouts 25 participants, 25 including yourself. That means there will be 24 more participants. Hangouts 25. So, this is um, for Hangouts. Okay. And then um, the other thing, it should be the other features in there, it's similar with the paid version, except for the conferencing, your option is hang up 25 maximum participant. So you just add your guests, okay? You just add your guests there. And then when you just click on save. Okay, like I said, why we need to make our calendar public? Because if you don't make your calendar public, it will come out like this. Calendar cannot be shown. So maybe you want to compare when will that person be free. So if that person calendar is public, you can compare your calendar and that person calendar. But if that person make it um, private, for example, like mine. So here, you, there will prompt calendar cannot be shown. That means um, the calendar is private. So click on save. So they will uh, they will ask you, would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? Okay. If you click send, that person will receive an email, uh, uh, an email like event calendar in the email. If you click on send, so that person wouldn't know that you actually created the event until that person go to the um, calendar. Then only he or she will be able to see it. Eh, my calendar have an event tomorrow. Uh, okay. So this option is for you. Either you want to send uh, in, uh, email. If you click on send, the event will still be created. It's just that person will not be aware of it. And then also dismiss. If you want to fix something, you just click dismiss and work on it again and then click save. Then uh, only you can decide if you want to send or don't send the invitation. Yeah. Okay, uh, I will show later on, demonstrate how to make calendar public. You don't have to worry. Okay, uh, now here. So, um, this one is the paid G Suite account, yeah? The paid. Previously, you will see it's only the option is hang up. Here, if you are using the paid version, you will see my option will be Hangouts Meet. My option will be Hangouts Meet. My option will be Meet. Okay, it's not it's not hang up like this one. The option is hang up. Okay, free version option is hang up. Paid version option will be hang up. Meet, yeah, up to two hundred fifty participant until first of June. So here, if you are using, uh, if you notice, if you are using uh, Google Meet, you will be given a link. You will be given a link that you can share with people. Hangout, you will not give a link because for Hangout, it's only for the people that you invite. You must add the guests here. For Hangout, you must add the guests here. So then only the guests can join the conversation. Okay? You must have the guest, name, uh, the guest list here. Then only that person will be able to join your conversation. But different from the paid G Suite account, you can just share the link. You can just share the link. But hang out, they will not create the link for you. It's only for the people you invite. Yeah, hang out meet. You can just share the link and everyone, uh, whoever have the link can go into the, can go into the uh, me virtual meeting 
Okay, and join the meeting. Add the guest list. And then again, save. Same option. So the only difference will be this part. Okay, either Google Meet or Hangout. Everything else is the same. So uh, would you like to send invitation? So you just um, send. Okay, now how can you uh, keep track of uh, who will be joining and who will not be joining your class? Because of course you want to know who reply yes, who reply no. You are wondering, right? So how can you keep track of uh, your RSVP? So here, if you open up, uh, if you go to your calendar, okay, if you go to your calendar, you click on the event, you click on the event, so you will be able to see, you click on the event, any event, uh, sorry, any event at all, you click on that event, so this box will pop up, so you will be able to see the number of guests you invite. So here, you will be able to see the number of guests that you invite to your event. For example, here I have two guests, me and the guests. So here they have answer for you. Yes, waiting. They also can, um, they can answer no and maybe. So if this person answer no, that will be one yes, one no. If that person answer maybe, that will be one yes, one maybe. It will always be one yes. One yes is uh, represent the organizer. You will see the answer will always be um, start with one yes, which is you, the organizer, the organizer, the one who create this event. Okay. To see this, you must go to your calendar and click on the event. Then you will box will come out. Then you will be able to see your guest list and who say yes and who say no. So this is the guest. The guest will also be able to see um, who will see yes, will see no. This one again is depends on the setting that you set up when you send the invitation. Okay, when you send the invitation. Okay, so now, um, so the different, okay, one more different if you notice. So this one is for the guest. Okay, guest. So the one that created the event is using the free account. So the event will be in Hangout. So that person must click on here and click on this link. There's no link, sorry, must click on join Hangout. But if that person is a paid version, so when that person send invitation, so the one, even though you are not paid version, you still can join the meeting. Okay, so just click on this, uh, join with Google Meet. So it, um, you should be able to see the difference. So join with Google Meet. So here it's just a normal one, join Hangout. That's it, uh, join Hangout. Uh, there's no link, but if uh, Google Meet, you will see there's a link for you. You can go or just click on this, uh, join with Google Meet. Okay, now how can you set reminders and notification? So if you notice there's a reminder and notification which I normally set for 10, uh, 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Um, okay, 10 minutes. So, uh, okay, but yeah, I will go to your question after this. Sorry. Okay, for uh, by default, okay, sorry. By default, I have set my mind into 10 minutes. So that's why every time I create an event, it will be 10 minutes reminder. Um, the limit will be five, five notification, okay? The limit will be five notification. You can have five notification. Maybe you want to have a, a notification for 10 minutes, notification 20 minutes before the event, notification for 30 minutes before the event. You want to have a one, um, one day emails, maybe. So you can set the notification up to five, okay? Up to five notification. So um, there's two type of notification. One is notification notification, which is come out on your screen. Um, uh, again, mine is 10 minutes. 10 minutes before the event, I will receive a notification on my screen saying that in 10 minutes, I have an event. So that's it. that is notification. So if you are using your computer, you will see the notification come out on your bottom right. If you also link your calendar with your phone, uh, your phone will also give you notification 10 minutes before the event. It's just a normal uh, normal notification. Okay, 
you will also have option email so if the email so well for example email 10 minutes before so 10 minutes before the e the event you will receive an email okay you will receive an email reminder that you have um, this event okay in 10 minutes so um, four minutes so it doesn't have to be minutes you can change the duration from minutes hour days week okay like i said you can add notification up to five notifications so maybe you want to have an email uh, one weeks before email one day before notification 30 minutes before 20 minutes before 10 minutes before limit five notification okay so that's two type of notification emails or the normal notification or you can change also the duration the time you, it doesn't have to be 10 you can also modify the time yeah you can also modify the time up to you one hours before two days one week yeah you can modify this and also change the duration okay so here i'm going to touch about the uh, default reminder and notification like i said by default my souls 247 org uh calendar the, notif uh, the notification will be 10 minutes. My uh, personal email notification will be 30 minutes. Okay. And how can you set the default? Here. In your, uh, in your calendar, go to settings menu. Okay. This is calendar. Go to setting menu. Go to settings. Okay. Go to settings. Now, here search for uh, search for your calendar okay setting for my calendar click on uh, click on your uh, click on your calendar for example here i go to city kerja so now go to event notification okay ah uh, that um, since it's here so this is how you can make your calendar public as well if you go to settings okay again go to the name of the calendar so here, here they have access permission okay access permission you just tick on this to make available to public okay to make available to public so you just tick on this tick on this okay go to the calendar here you will see access permission tick on the box you can make a, a, a calendar available to public here go back to the notification so your name event notification here event notification okay you can change as well the notification again notification or email you can play around with the time minutes can be become hours week okay uh, let me zoom in so event notification is the same notification you can set either notification notification or email time up to you minutes hours this week okay so here you change the default so every time you create an event it will have this notification by default okay it will have this notification by default okay now how, how can we uh, manage multiple calendar if you have a lot of calendar how can we uh, manage the multiple calendar so that for example you have your for example for my case i have my uh, my calendar and i also managing uh, my digital team uh, calendar okay digital team calendar so here okay when you create an event you will see your below notification you will see your name you click on the, the drop down okay you click on the drop down there will show you the list of calendar you are managing okay they will show you the list of calendar you are managing so here i have mine and i also have my digital team calendar so if i want to change what i can do for example i'm creating an event not for my calendar but for digital skills calendar Okay, because I'm creating an event not for mine. I'm creating the event for Digital Skills Calendar. So you click on that. Click on the calendar. 
for example here the di uh, the digital skills calendar so i just click on that then that's it i can just key in the title and everything so later on this event will be saved for digital skills calendar not for my calendar okay so here as you can see uh, in my calendar i have mine and i also have digital skills calendar okay i have mine and also digital skills calendar so that uh, i will know which one is mine which one is a digital skills calendar so that's why it's um, for example it's not event are mine uh, sometimes i create the event for other team member so that's why uh, i have sep uh, i separated okay i separated so now you will be able to see the color as well. So the orange will be mine and then the purple will be the belongs to digital skills team um, calendar. Okay, so I have, uh, so the my calendar is the list of calendar you are managing. So my calendar and also the, the team calendar. No, there's two um, right now that I'm managing, but it's not will be the same for me and you guys. So you will, but the one thing for sure, you will be able to see your name. The contact will be there. Reminder, task. Okay, by default, it should be like that. Unless you have uh, other calendar that you are managing, you will see that calendar as well. Okay, sorry. Now, uh, okay, any question? Yep, I will go to your question. Okay, uh, what is the difference, uh, Hangout and me? Okay, I okay. Yeah, I'm just saying. Even though I I already explained just now. Okay, uh, Hangout and Meet. Hangout is free, free user. Meet is a paid user. Hangout, twenty five participant, including you. Meet, uh, enterprise, two hundred fifty participant, including yourself. Hangout Meet, they have URL link which you can distribute. You can pass gift to other. Okay, please join. Please join. Please join. Please join. People can just go to that link. But Hangout Meet only for the people that you invite. Only for the people that you invite. Others cannot join. Okay, that's different between Hangouts and Meet. How to know? If you go to your uh, calendar, if you create an event, you will see at conference, it's either Meet or Hangout. It's only one option. Okay, how to make calendar public? Okay, let me just demonstrate to you. Uh, Okay, uh, if that person doesn't have Gmail, uh, we still can video conference with them. Uh, doesn't have Gmail, uh, you referring to me, Google Meet? If Google Meet, yes. They just need to go to the URL, that's it. If Hangout, no. It's only that person must uh, must have uh, calendar. Okay, if Hangout, it's only for the people um, have the calendar. For me, uh, anyone can join as long as they have the URL and the apps, of course. Okay, wait, let me just open up. So here, my calendar. Okay, let me just go to question again. How to make calendar public? Okay, let me just demonstrate to you how to make it public. Okay. Okay. So this is again, this is my calendar. I'm going to make it public. Go to settings menu. Settings. The settings. Set up. So look for your calendar. Okay, look for your calendar. So this is my calendar. So here, access permission. It just, it just right there, access permission. You, if you choose on this, so here you will be able to make it uh, public. Okay, just tick on that to make it public. Just tick on that to make it public. Okay, it's so in the access permission. Okay, access permission. You have option as well. Okay, for example, here in this one is uh this one is my company, right? I will show you the difference because I also open up my personal um. Uh, Gmail here. If you go to settings, I'll show you the difference. Okay. Here is my calendar. Okay. Now, the uh, the difference. If you see access permission, I only have a one option. Make available to public. For my company, I have option. 
make available for the people within the same domain okay so but uh, for the people with the same domain so here the for the if you are using your personal one you only have one option which is uh, make available to public but if you are using uh, other domain you will see uh, it'll allow you to make available for the people within the same domain or you can make it public so let's go to the event notification so this is the one okay by default it's 10 minutes but here my personal one event notification is 30 minutes okay so here is the will uh, 10 minutes so right here is 30 minutes so you can just change it or you can add more uh, more uh, notification if needed so that's how I make it public a notification i'm going to go up from a uh, okay so Max guess I uh, hope that I already answered that. 25 for Hangouts, 250 for Meet. I use Google Meet a few times through a link in Google Classroom. I find that they are still able to remain inside the Meet and talk. Okay. Um, the thing is, yes, you cannot. There's uh, no prevention. Okay. Uh, uh, there's no prevention on that. I'm so sorry, Mr. Chong Pia Yi. Okay, Google Meet, if you already give them a link, okay, even though you already left the conversation, they can still talk in that conversation to the link. Okay, that link will still, uh, will be, um, I will say the link will still be uh, available. Let's just, let me just demo to you. Okay, let's say I go to the, this one, yeah. I go to the one that already happened on the 30th of April. If I go to my, uh, if I click on meet, okay, if I click on the link, the thing is the link will be, uh, will always be there. Okay, am I? Okay, am I still on? Okay, so um, even though it's already uh, past 30th of April, the link will still exist okay the link will still exist um the other thing what you can do is you edit the event okay this one is not uh, the creator i'm using this okay what you can do you remove the conference okay you remove the conference if you don't remove the conference, okay, if the event already done, yes, I understand it's already done previously um, on the 30th of April itself. If you don't remove the Google Meet link, so the link will be available forever and ever. So um, anyone can still have access to that link and have the, uh, the Meet meeting. Okay, what you can do is do this. You go back to the meeting, you remove the link. Okay. Once you're done, you go back to the event. You remove it, like I like I did. You go back to the event. You must use the one that uh, you use. If you are the one who create the event, it must be the one who create the event. Yeah, it must be the one who create the event. Edit the event. Remove the link, so that the link uh, the link will not be available. So there will not be able to have the uh, conversation in the Google Meet. So I hope I answer your question. Then if that person don't have Gmail, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we still have video conference with them. Yep, you can if uh, that person is uh, use if that uh, meeting that conference is using Google Meet. Yes, um, anyone else can join as long as they have Google Meet Hangout apps. Uh, they have laptop ready. They just copy paste the link and then that's it. They can join without log logging in. But then hang up. No, they must log in. They must have Gmail. Okay, I have two different Gmail calendar. How to merge? Uh, merge? No, nope. you cannot merge. But uh, you cannot merge the calendar. Uh, but what you can do is you can import the uh, calendar like this. Uh, not import. I will say, for example, in my case here. Um, Okay, like let let's say Farah is me, yeah. Let's say Farah is me. So I add uh I add calendar, okay, here, add others calendar, okay. 
Okay. Subscribe to calendar. Okay. Add calendar. Who you want to add? For example, I'm going to add my personal one. Okay. This is my personal Gmail. Okay. So I have, um, again, because mine is not public, right? Okay. Mine is not public. That's why it asked me like this. Uh, it asked me, okay, uh, request. So I have request access. Okay, request send. You will not be able to merge, but what you can do is then later on you have that option and then you just tick on that so that you will be able to see the event for that particular uh, particular email address as well in your in your Gmail. So that, for example, here I'm seeing Farah email, which is the the orange color here. I know it's Farah, Farah, Farah. So light orange is will be mine like here. So purple color will be digital skills calendar. So you can uh, add the other calendar, but much no. Okay, that's, that's one. Let me see other question. Okay, much no. How to create a calendar, especially for planning and create a calendar. Okay, so you want to create a different calendar. What you can do? Here, yeah. add other calendar. Create new calendar. Create new calendar. Other calendar. Create new calendar. Let's say I'm going to give it a name demo. Okay, demo. So now here if your description, if any. Okay, if any description, create that. So create calendar. Okay, it will say demo successfully created. Now go back to your calendar. So here, it will be there. This is the calendar here that you manage, that you create. That will be demo. So it's the same thing when you create an event. The reason why I have uh, two different, which is digital skills uh, team and also mine, because sometimes it's a totally separate events. It's only for the team, it's not mine. So I put it in the team. So here, when you choose the calendar option, you will see the option. Okay, so you can change it. So this event will go to the demo. This event will be saved under demo. So you, um, everyone can, okay. Is it okay or, or different color? Can, can, wait, ah, uh, different color. Of course, we just close this first. This cut. Yes, uh, you notice the color, right? So here, uh, uh, if you go there, if you go to the particular calendar, maybe you don't like orange, <laughs> click on here, okay, bring your cursor, you will see the three dot, okay, option, click on there, yeah, you can change the color, okay, you can change the color, bring the cursor, option, change the color. So for that example here, if you see right now, mine is orange. Uh, so this one is easy for you eyes to see. I make it uh, maybe uh, bedroot. So now the color change is no longer orange. Okay, any other question? Let me go. Okay. Uh, Okay, how to set different color on the calendar? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, this one is to change the calendar color, your calendar, but then uh, to differentiate all the event, yeah. I hope I answer your question here or um, there's another option when you create, okay, a more option. It doesn't have to be that your event color. If, for example, this event is, uh, you want to differentiate according to the color, you can go ahead and choose a different color. Okay, by default, it will follow the one that you set. By default, it will follow. But then if you wish to change the color, you must go to more option and you can change the color. Okay, you can change the color inside as well. Uh, I get the shareable link by using mine. How like I get shareable link? Uh, shareable link for uh, invite uh are you referring to hangout or are you referring to google meet 
can I, yeah, okay. If I use Google Classroom, I use the link from Google Classroom. How to remove uh, meet link? Okay, you use Google Classroom. Um, can you, okay, it should, uh, let's say, if it's appear on your calendar, you can do that. Okay, for recording. But I find that the recording under is not me. It all goes off. It goes to your student. Okay. Uh, may I check with you? Are you a student who created the event? Because the, the Google Meet, the one that you record for your class, will go to that um, person who created the event. For example, for this uh, class, even though it's under, let me just show you. Okay. For this class, even though it's under my digital skills team email, okay, but I'm the one who create the link. Okay, I'm the one who create the link. So here you will see created by who. Okay, it will show me created by who. So this later on, after this um, our class end, the video will go to that person who created the the link okay who created it so can you check are are you student are the one who created the event because this uh, the google meet um, recording it will go to that person who create the event okay the recording will go to that person who create the event okay wait there uh, uh, Hang out. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I got the shareable link by using my. Okay, hang out. Uh, hang out. Okay. Uh, hang out link. Just because uh, normally hang out, you must. Okay, because the event I created for that one is nine. Okay, here. Okay, join hang out. Okay. So hang out, uh, hang out, and also hang out and meet is totally a uh, different thing. So like you can see right now is a uh, hang out, okay, hang out. Yes, uh, hang out also have a link, but uh, this one um normally the sorry no the people who can join this is the one that invited, and also um they normally because the reason why they can just click on here join hang out. And just go to the hangout. So if uh, if that person just share the link, I'm afraid if it's a uh, past twenty five, then the others cannot join. So the the important people who are supposed to join the conversation will not be able to join it. So normally for hangout, there will be no link given when you create it. Okay, there will be no link given when you create the event. It will just come out like this. The reason why, okay, the reason why there's no link. Uh, come out uh, compared to here there's a link the reason why because they want to ensure that only important people can join the conversation is because again the number of people who join can be able to join the conversation is limited it's only 25 i'm a teacher and it always goes to my student okay again uh, if you check on your just classroom uh, how to remove the mid link okay your classroom okay um even over this uh okay if an event is over is there any way to show it it's over uh no it's uh for the is if the event is over uh that's um i'm sorry but there is will be uh no method that you can say the event is over because the event is over because this is not a this is not a live uh we'll say this is not a, a live streaming so that's why it's uh the event is over is uh, normally the concept that used for uh that that the concept that used for uh, live streaming okay the event is over normally the concept for live streaming this is conference um however there's no futures for this Okay. Uh, okay. I, this is a bug. If I use neighbor to developer, 
Uh, okay, Google Classroom. Uh, developer, so uh, if, okay. Developer, so even for us, if we just uh, report normally. So we just report normally. Yeah, that's, uh, um, sorry that you're facing that problem. And thank you for Mr. Chong uh, for your help. Oh yeah, okay, how to report. So, okay, you're, you're facing problem from classroom, right? I will, okay, you know what? Can I email, uh, I will email you later on. Yes, I will give you the details. Uh, I will uh, uh, I will send you an email and I will uh, give you the details how you can contact and do screenshot. Uh, do screenshot and accept them to give them a few hours because of the our our time differences. So yeah, please accept a delay. There will be a delay in them replying you. Okay. Okay. Any other question? Any other question related to Google? So are you clear the difference between Hangouts and Meet? It's totally, again, uh, different apps. It's not the same apps. Okay, and I hope that um, throughout the class you can understand why. Why is it a uh, difference? Okay. Any other question? Or everybody is clear with, uh, with Google Calendar? Everybody okay? Everybody can understand? Okay, so I hope uh, after this class you mm, right now so you know how to uh, create the event Okay, so if you wish if you create the event from your Google Calendar and then if you wish um, That other people cannot go in ensure that you remove the link Okay, ensure that you remove the link so that people cannot uh, go in into the link again in the futures <laughs> 